We all use CT angiography as a non-invasive diagnostic test for diagnosis of coronary stenosis, but of course CT angiography does not determine whether a stenosis causes ischemia or not. In contrast, fractional flow reserve, or FFR, is a physiologic measure of coronary stenosis, but of course it also requires an invasive procedure. Non-invasive FFR computed from CT is a novel method for determining the physiologic significance of coronary disease, but its ability to identify ischemia has not to date been adequately examined. But now in JAMA, researchers assess the diagnostic performance of FFR from CT plus CT for the diagnosis of hemodynamically significant coronary stenosis. They studied 252 stable patients who underwent the whole gamut of tests, CT, a standard coronary angiogram, FFR, and FFR from CT. The primary study outcome assessed whether FFR from CT plus CT could improve the per patient diagnostic accuracy such that the lower boundary 95% confidence interval of this estimate exceeded 70%. What they found is somewhat of a mixed bag. Not every endpoint, that is diagnostic accuracy, sensitivity, specificity, positive predictive value, and negative predictive value made the 70% cut. But compared with obstructive coronary disease diagnosed by CT alone, FFR from CT was associated with improved discrimination. Although the study did not achieve its pre-specified outcome for the level per, per patient diagnostic accuracy, use of non-invasive FFR from CT plus CT among stable patients was associated with improved diagnostic accuracy and discrimination versus CT alone. It looks like this new wrinkle in FFR computation from CT is a keeper and will indeed help us in making a non-invasive diagnosis of coronary disease and importantly, how severe that disease may be. I'm Peter Block and this is a CardiSource Heart Minute.